Good morning number three here on my nice solo trip out here at Sherwin Creek Campground. Just making a little bit of breakfast for myself. I don't know if you can see a little bit of scrambled eggs. Got a little bit of bacon. Gonna kind of throw this on a couple pieces of toast and make myself a little bit of a breakfast sandwich before I break camp. As mentioned, uh, the, the highlight of the trip I feel is gonna be right here at the end. Uh, was able to get uh, a last minute campground at uh, Wywona Campground. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, down in Yosemite. So I'm gonna be heading over there in a hot minute. And uh, I'm hopefully gonna get some good video of uh, the drive through the 120, the Tioga Pass, and as I enter the Yosemite Valley here from the Eastern Sierra side. So check out the uh, rest of the videos for it. Hi. We're Chris and Tracy, and this is our van, Helen of Troivado. We bought Helen last year during COVID after all of our international trips were going down the cancellation pathway. Being in the healthcare industry, we were still tied to our full-time jobs, but really needed to get away. Well, safe to say it's been a lot of fun this last year. We've traveled nearly 25,000 miles in our van and have visited nine states and 10 national parks. We just hit our one year anniversary, or as I like to call it, the anniversary. And we've decided what better way to celebrate than bringing you along for the ride. So we've decided to document the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click subscribe to follow along on our part-time fan life journey. <laughs>
45 minutes trying to get into uh, Yosemite through the Tioga Pass. Um, I don't know if it's construction or what's going on. I'm only about seven cars deep now. Um, there's not a lot of cars. It's just uh, they're operating fairly slow. I'm not sure if there's something up in front of me I can't see. And if so, I'll make some comments about that. But uh, it's about one car every about 10 minutes. Um, so I don't think it's, you know, people getting in or, or checking credentials. That should take a minute or two. Um, so I don't know if they're intentionally slowing people down or what, but it's, it's creating a pretty, pretty good sized backup for no reason. Um, so we'll find out. Wasn't the Rangers. Wasn't traffic. It was other guests who spent an hour in line who got all the way to the front who weren't ready. Didn't have their paperwork ready. Didn't have their IDs ready. Didn't have their paperwork. place to stop and have a little bit of lunch, enjoy myself, watching the cars go by. I actually just saw a friend of mine drive past uh, that I had uh, run into at the entrance of the park. Gotta love it here in uh, Yosemite. It's just absolutely gorgeous in the summer and, you know, where else would you want to be?
Good morning, everyone. Day four has finally come. I didn't do a lot of filming last night because when I got to the campsite, it was a hundred and some odd degrees. So I basically went uh, out to a local restaurant, got a little bit of food, um, maybe a drink or two, and decided to uh, kind of try and wait out some of the heat, try and keep the dogs a little bit cool, uh, you know, myself included. So uh, today I'm just gonna head on home and, uh, you know, finish up this trip. Thanks for following along and uh, enjoy the rest of uh, the footage as uh, we kind of wrap this one up. Take care. See you soon. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great content. Join us next week as Tracy returns. See you then.